What's up everybody? Today we have a short video on a 2008 Chevy Tahoe that had no communication with the theft deterrent module and for that matter the whole low speed bus was down. Before we get started I gotta tell you I'm pumped up. You know why? Because I'm actually getting to go out of state for some training. It's been a long time since I've been to any uh, really good training events and got out myself. I'll share more about that in the near future. Moving right along I gotta tell you when you get more experience and you're diagnosing vehicles and you start seeing pattern failures it really helps you uh, get to the bottom of things quickly. And that's what happened in this instance. Uh, technicians asking me, how long did that take you? I'm like, ah, literally, maybe 30 seconds. You know why? Because I've put the time and effort in and I've learned the hard way before. And just so you know, I am not a know-it-all and I still learn the hard way sometimes. Guys, we're always learning. Keep your eyes and ears open whenever you're working on any vehicle and uh, you, know, you might get the clue to lead you in the right direction very quickly. And that's what happened here. I wanna show you something. For those of you that are uh, subscribed to the Core Premium, you can see me cutting a key for this vehicle. I'll show you how I picked the lock and cut the key, but here we go. Theft of turn module, no communication. I just got done picking this lock for this vehicle, got towed in. Who knows the story with it, really? So we've got ourselves a brand new key. Uh, for this, I was going to do a theft learn. But right off the bat, those of you that follow my channel and know what's up, what are we missing here? How about a Prindle indicator? I knew I was going to have a problem right away. I wasn't happy about that. So, we had an error 43.99 when we went to go ahead when we were on SPS trying to do our programming. It was error and out. But as you see, no communication with the theft module. Taking a look around, I was looking at the diagrams here, looking at all the modules that this stuff goes to. Cluster, um, HVAC control module. All this is the low speed network here. And also on here is the radio and if you look here this is an aftermarket radio isn't it i thought for my own purposes okay i thought i better just pull this fuse and of course this is the radio fuse right here here fuse 42 pull that out and would you look at that the printer came back to life so now let's see if we have communication back with our theft module going back to our tech 2 here And we're gonna hit restart because uh, it's kind of locked on the screen saying no communication. We're gonna hit the restart button. And our theft module is present. Nothing like some aftermarket radios to cause problems. So that's just an interesting one showing you guys how a simple uh, device can pull down the network. In this case, it was the aftermarket radio. Very common uh, for these uh, aftermarket radios to cause all kinds of problems. I see it often. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if this thing starts when we're done. I think it has a blown engine, actually, but that's another whole story all by itself. And for those of you that are interested to uh, follow uh, more in-depth stuff, like on how I cut the key for this, if you get the uh, core or the premium package on hands-on auto training, you can go ahead and over there and get that. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you have a great day, and we've got 12 minutes to burn.